Okay, so I have Cam here, and she was the one that told me the story the other day. But she doesn't want to be on screen, but go ahead and say hi. Hi. Okay, so I was talking to you about the Mandela Effect the other day, and you told me, I asked you if you remembered sex in the city or sex and the city. What did you say? Sex in the city. Okay, speak up just a little bit. Sex in the city. Okay, and then I was telling you that the, uh, by the way, she does not want to be on screen, so that's why you have to look at my ugly mug. <laughs> um, I was telling you the reason why it's called the Mandela Effect is Nelson Mandela got out of prison of 27 years, was South Africa's president, and was died in 2013, and when he died... Millions of people freaked out because they remember him dying in the late 80s in prison. And you asked me, so wait, somebody can die and come back to life. And then you told me a story, so just go ahead and... About my friend Aaron? Yeah, tell me what you said about Aaron. Um, we went to high school and middle school together for a really long time, and then he had moved out to California. And many years later, I had received a suicide note from him. And oh, can we start over again, or is this no? Bad? It's fine. It's fine. It's not okay. unscripted. He had ended up shooting himself in the chest, and he had died. I went to his funeral. I put him in the ground. I threw dirt on his grave, and. A few years later, after that, he gets a hold of me on Facebook like nothing ever happened. Like, I saw him in his coffin. I saw him in the grave. I threw the dirt on his grave. Did you ever talk to him on the phone or anything? After? Yeah, I did. It was him. It, he sent me another letter, same handwriting, everything. Did you say anything to him about him being dead and you going to his funeral? Yeah. What did he say? That he wasn't dead, obviously. Wow. Okay, uh, so there you have... I thought that'd be a little bit more credible than me just saying something to... Uh, uh, you just told me a story a minute ago about your uh, friend's truck. What was? Can you repeat that? Um, my friend, he comes from Missouri to Texas all the time, and he stopped by my house. He has a big white truck with a... What do you call this? Sticker on the window... Uh -huh. It has a company name, and then it used to say Abilene, Texas, because that's where we met each other at. Right. Now it says Alameda, Texas. And he told me I was crazy because it's only said Alameda, but it hasn't. Okay. So, anyway, that's, uh, I thought you guys might find that interesting and uh, a different perspective. I wish I could get her to be on camera just for like a second. She's shaking her head no. All right. Take care.